Hello. <laughs> Hey, 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 h
I just like I'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm just I'm so excited to just be around women um so <laughs> so yeah so I gotta find a cute gift which I'm trying to decide I've been like going back and forth on what I want to do um and I have to go get the stuff to make my board and then I'm, I also have homework so I'm gonna get some homework done today as well but yep y'all buckle on up we on we, we doing it we doing it we doing it we doing it okay 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 bye G.O.D. who conquered evil forces I don't trust in chat, we into fortresses Yeah, I want my faith I don't follow trends Say never my chest No, I will not bend I don't follow trends Say never my chest No, I will not bend I have what do the kids say secured the bag I hope so it's a white elephant right I'm like I got something that I would want <laughs> worst case scenario <laughs> i will get my own gift back <laughs> but it is um it's a white elephant it's with my church so and i like i when i, I tell y'all i literally just joined this church like went for the first time joined the same day don't know nobody haven't really talked to nobody you know in a new city for those of you who do not know this is your first time ever seeing my face um i packed up my life and moved states away from everybody that I know <laughs> so yeah so that's my life right now so I'm in a new city I don't I know one person I got some saying I don't know anybody I know one person and it is an amazing person to know and I love my girl um and yeah but I'm here so I'm really just trying to like make roots here um and just get connected and some community and all the things so i'm going to the event on saturday i'm so excited i don't know what i'm gonna put on my coochie board like i keep going back and forth because part of me wants to do like a whole dessert board and so do like a like a trail mix i know you're like how is that dessert but to me like you know i gotta have a little something with the sweet okay and so do like trail mix and then get like chocolate and bake some cookies because i love baking from scratch and so i was gonna bake some cookies and then do maybe like a, a build your own s'mores type vibe on it and then the other part of me is like i can do like a girl dinner and put some like chips and salsa and some popcorn and then some sweet and just kind of like mix and match the flavors like that on my board i need to go and buy an um tray because whenever i moved i um felt the need to i felt like it was on my heart i felt words baby girl you got this i felt like god told me to give everything away so i gave away basically everything other than like clothes like which I felt like he was okay with me keeping that. Um, but, um, yeah, so I get everything away, so I don't have a lot of, like, dishes or anything like that. So I have to buy some stuff. So I'm really trying to decide, one, what I'm going to put on the board, and then what I want. Like, if I want to do, like, a like traditional charcuterie board and like go get like the serving board which i saw a dolly parton serving board in there and i love miss dolly don't ask me to name five of her songs because i can really only name four nine to five jolene i will always love you so i can only name three um however i love miss dolly parton okay and miss i don't have the nails but this girl be playing her nails, okay? This talent. So, I love Miss Dolly Parton. Anyway, there was a Dolly serving board in there, and I almost bought it because 
I love Miss Dolly. But I did not buy it. So I'm just trying to figure out the next step. Y'all, I am so hungry. I was going to say famished, but I'm working on and watching my words and trying not to be so freaking dramatic. <laughs> but I am famished. And what I really want to do is go get some Chipotle, go back home, watch a movie, and go to sleep. However, I have homework. It is... 425 so i know traffic's gonna be fun because i decided to drive 30 minutes away from my house to go to this specific burlington is there a reason why no but i just like to since i'm new to the city every time i have an off day i like to just go out further and further and find new things and then find my way back home because things aren't that far like i don't know if anybody else i don't know if anybody is from texas but in my opinion growing up in texas prepares you to go anywhere and i say this because i feel like and i haven't been to many states i've lived in a few i've visited a few right but i feel like texas everything is so spread out and it takes you two hours to get from houston to houston because i used to live in houston so it takes you two hours to get from houston to houston so moving anywhere else living anywhere else visiting anywhere else if it's like oh it's 30 minutes away i'm like oh that's a treat that's a gem don't mind if I do, because the way I used to run up miles on my car driving from Dallas to San Antonio to Austin to San Antonio, back to Dallas to Houston and Dallas. To, like, literally, I used to be in the car for two hours just to get from where I lived to where my best friend in Houston lived or where I lived to where my mama in Houston lived. So 30 minutes is a cute little trip for me, so I don't even mind. Um, but yeah, I try to go out and like venture to the different places. So, yeah, I actually need to get uh, footage for uh, my English, baby girl. English, English, how can I breathe? I need to get footage of my outfit. So, I think I'm actually going to do that right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that right now. BRB. I is the light green? Yeah, the light is green. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are doing like I keep mentioning. We're doing the white elephant secret Santa situation, and the light is green again. But the budget is fifteen dollars, and I don't know if this is everybody, but every single time I've ever had to do this, I always go over my budget because I'm like, okay, but what about this? I'm like, this is nice, and like, it's I'm such a I'm such a like gift person like I love buying gifts for people and I love being like and it's crazy because I don't know who's gonna get it but I love like making gifts super personal and intentional and all the things so we're gonna see how this works I'm gonna I'm gonna when I bag it all up I'm gonna bring y'all with me but yeah <laughs> Following Jewish burial custom, they wrapped Jesus' body with the spices and long sheets of linen cloth. The place of crucifixion was near a garden where there was a new tomb never used before. And so, because it was the day of preparation for the Jewish Passover, and since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. John chapter 20 Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance.
get my gift for Wet Elephant. <laughs> I did not get the things for the coochie board, but I put in a store pickup order to get this stuff for the coochie board. So I'm gonna go pick that up. Actually, probably gonna be leaving now since it's 30 minutes away. Um, but yeah, we've just been chilling. I've shown y'all. Um, it's been a slow, slow morning, which I love. Like, I love the mornings where I really don't have to do anything. Like, but be black and beautiful. Um, and so I built my couch, which is cool. <laughs> but yeah, I've been talking to two of my good friends for most of the morning. Well, not most of the morning, but since I've been out of the bed. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty cool day. So I'm going to take y'all with me as we go to Wally World to do the grocery pickup. And then I have to do a stop at Publix because some of the stuff I wanted was not at Publix. So I had to look at Walmart and vice versa. So yeah, that's what we got to do. We're about to head on out. have those moments hold up like I'm trying to be <laughs> okay you ever have those moments where like everything is everything and everything is just a little too much excuse me very much so had one of those moments and I had to just ride in silence which I love riding in silence but it was different um but I have officially gone and picked up all my stuff for this coochie board and it starts to get a bit overwhelming and then I had to remember like because I'm I'm stepping into my uh, hospitality bag, because I used to be, well, let the people tell it, I am a homemaker. Um, but I used to be like one of those people who will cook and invite people over and all the things. And I fell off from doing that because I was in this period for like a few years. Where I was like, I actually don't want anybody ever in my home. Nobody come over to my house, please and thank you. Um, but I am growing out of that now. And I have such a desire to, like, host. And so I want to do well. I mean, given I'm not hosting, I'm literally just bringing the dish. But even then, like, I try to make my stuff look very good. And I try to make sure there's something for everybody. And so I just really started, like, overthinking a freaking coochie board. And so, so I, like, had a moment. And then I just was, like, reminded... Like, there's a book called The Gospel Comes with a House Key. I feel like everybody should read it. Whether you believe in God, whether you don't believe in God, whether you want to host, whether you don't want to host, read the book. It's an amazing, phenomenal read. 10 out of 10. Um, but she was just talking about how they hosted so many different types of people in their home. And it was never this big, lavish thing. It would just be, you know, like, whatever she had in the crock pot. And just that came back into my mind. And shout out to God. And it was just a reminder of like, Claudia, like you're going to this event to fellowship. Like you're going to this event to connect with people, whether your coochie board is the prettiest or whether you have everything that you wanted on it or whatever. Cause I was like, okay, I'm not baking cause I just moved. So I don't have any of my baking stuff. I don't have like the ingredients to bake. I don't have none of that stuff. So I was like, okay, well I'm not going to bake it from scratch. So I want to go somewhere and get some vegan cookies and like it was the whole thing. And just the reminder of like me putting the effort in and just bringing what I have and just being excited to be there is enough and so yes but I went to Publix I got the cookies I wanted peanut butter cookies 
this public did not have peanut butter cookies they had coconut cookies and i'm gonna be honest i'm kind of not excited about the coconut cookies but watch i'm gonna try one when i get home i'm like dang these cookies are good and i should have got two coconuts instead of two chocolate chips but i got the coconut cookies um i got all the stuff that i need so now i just have to get home and prep it but i don't think i'm gonna do any of the prep stuff until tomorrow morning because that's when the event it is tomorrow um early afternoon and yeah it's it's in the afternoon time so i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna prep it and i'm gonna obviously y'all are gonna come with me for all that stuff too but um maybe that's not obvious hopefully i remember but um i'm gonna prep everything and oh i like this lighting too i'm gonna prep everything um in the morning but right now i just want to get home i'm gonna cook myself a big thing of pasta i put my couch together today i'm gonna move my uh what's the thing you call it projector out to the living room and i think i'm gonna eat some pasta and watch a movie and just also y'all i am trying this juice i ain't never had this before we gonna do a taste test i'm very excited the ingredients are literally orange juice and beets so mm -hmm. yeah this is good yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i got another one that's like pineapple and spinach and zinc or something and then i got two more of these but i want to try it because i love like all natural juices because i don't eat i don't eat a lot of stuff like i'm really i'm a label reader and so i like be in the grocery store that's why i make my list beforehand i be reading all the ingredients and the stuff and, and all the things so i try to get stuff as close to the way that god created it um so you'll always know when you're eating at my house that you're eating some good quality stuff because i try to get stuff as is that my car oh is that that's not my car that's not the is that the mk i do that every time anyway yeah so i was trying to find juices and things without all the added things which one day eventually i'm gonna get like start juicing myself i don't have a juicer though but i'm gonna start juicing myself and do all the things but that's neither here nor there so I got my juice. I'm feeling better. I had a, uh, I always keep snacks in my car. I had a protein bar. I got some beet juice. The sun is shining on me. My daddy's still good. It's going to be a beautiful day. We're heading home. So I'll check in with y'all. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cook with y'all. I might. I might just cook. So if this is the last time y'all see me today, I love y'all. If y'all see me again, I love y'all then too. All right. Bye. I just need the record to state I was wrong. These coconut cookies are good. They taste like something I've had before. They taste like home. And I can't think of what this tastes like. But it reminds me of like home. Which is kind of cool. But I know I don't like the texture of coconut. But this is still really good.